This is the Nexus Special, Episode 4. I'm not into skirting. On Saturday, April 7th, 2012. Hey, hey, hey. Want no secret? Want no bigger secret? Huh? Huh? This show is hosted by Ryan Rampersad and his guest, his father, Ray Rampersad. You know, and that was the genius of Apple. Yeah. <laughs> because what they did is for the first part of, of the 2000 era is, you know, between 2001 when they launched the first iPod yeah. for $499 mm-hmm. and then up, up until like the fourth generation of iPod Nano, yeah. like until 2007 of January when they released that iPhone, mm-hmm. up till then they had primed every person to have a collection of music. Every single person was mm-hmm. locked into that ecosystem. I, so, I even had some right and but you were mildly invested you were so little invested it was like 14 dollars. i had 16 songs okay 14 no 17 Ooh, and a video and a video yeah yeah um so what what apple did in 2007 is they released that iphone and what nobody thought of at the time was every single person who has music Mm -hmm. either has to convert it all and yeah most people aren't that smart or they have to live with their fact, their choice, and just use the iPhone, which will do it for them. And I so, know. Android came out in 2008. And what Android did is, of course, it didn't support, you know, Apple Music, which is D- D- DRM'd just to Apple. So what Apple did cleverly is they released the iPod Touch, mm-hmm. an iPhone-like device with a touchscreen, perfectly usable, mm-hmm. but not as you know fickle as uh, you know uh, one of those. Uh, regular iPods, like the Classic or the Nano, yeah. and that allowed people with Android phones, even if Apple lost them as phone customers, they would still keep them on as music customers because mm. they had such a grand momentum in the early part of the decade. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. But you know what? My iPod has no music on it. And you know why? Because you don't do music. Right. That's very atypical for children these but days. my phone, my Android has hundreds of songs on it. But you know your 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 uh, Actually my 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 Amazon yeah, yeah, cloud Yeah, Amazon. My cloud has a lot of songs in it. Right. You don't use Google Music, do you? No. Mm-mm. No. You ever tried? No. No, I haven't. I was a beta tester. I wasn't impressed. I uh, no, I'm I've already stuck <laughs> enough uh Amazon Music on here, so I'm I'm happy with Amazon. I'm good with it. The problem with um, the Android phone is that there's no single good way to get music. You can go through Amazon. I like Amazon. But one click, I'm good. But most people don't know how to do all of that. If I can do it, anybody can do it. You'd be surprised. I'm not that smart. Anybody, if, you, if I can hey, do something, hey, hey. anybody else in the I'm world good. can do So it. there was just a study released earlier this week, which is on our show notes for the real show, but this is a cool show anyway. Uh, in, the show notes, <laughs> uh, in the show notes, there's this yeah. um, article that says... Um, iPhone users use significantly more Wi-Fi than Android users. Why? Well, here's two here's two reasons that are potentially possible. Reason number one is on the iPhone when you walk into an unregistered, like a un, you know an unpreviously used Wi-Fi network. Yeah. It'll add, it'll pop up asking you, do you want to connect? Mm-hmm. And then if you choose to connect, it won't ask you again. It'll just connect automatically for you. Mm-hmm. An Android. It doesn't do that in the same way. So mm-hmm. on iPhones and iPod Touches and iPads, it pops an actual dialogue up yeah, that you, yeah. have you have to close. You have to tell on, this on the, to do on it. On the yeah. uh, Android, it does it in the menu bar thing, in, yeah. the, in the notifications bar. And you have to know what that symbol means, and you have to pull it down. And then you have to you know do all this clicking and stuff, and then mm-hmm. eventually you can get into the network. Yeah. And also on Android, there's no, like, on iOS... There's a button on the home screen that says settings. It's obvious. Mm-hmm. On Android, you have to go into the app drawer, and then you have to go to settings, and then you have to go to Wi-Fi. Yeah, unless uh, you unless you have it on your screen somewhere. Right, but it doesn't I, come. It doesn't come that way though. No, and most people never change the phone. So you mm-hmm. know, Elvin, you've heard of him. Mm-hmm. I've I saw his phone. I you know was tinkering with it. Mm-hmm. His phone does have his Google account connected, mm-hmm. but none of the home screens are customized. There are no, there are some apps, but mm-hmm. nothing is like set up. Well, maybe for, he doesn't use any of it. But that's how most people are with right. Android. Yeah, people with iPhones though, it's all there. Like they can see where the settings are because yeah. it says settings. Yeah, and it's it's an actually distinctive icon. Mm-hmm. It's it's not like that in Android. Yeah. So that, that's potentially the reason why. Hmm. Now the other reason why is most Android phones are low end Android phones. So when a person goes into a store, mm-hmm. they get some junky phone. 
and it'll support Wi-Fi, but it won't be good Wi-Fi. Yeah. But even if it is, here's the problem. Phones are usually too slow to use it effectively. So what what apps use Wi-Fi? Well, obviously, br- the browser will. But if your phone's so slow it can barely render web pages, what's the point? <laughs> And you know it sounds funny, yeah. but have you seen that Optimus V lately? That, have you seen that intercept? Then my my point is, what I mean, really, what is the point if you have a phone that can do Wi-Fi, it can access Wi-Fi, but it's unusable? What's the point of having Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, right? That capability, if, if you really can't use it. Well, the reason it's there is for Google to up, send updates. Oh, so it's useless to the user. Well, but, essentially. Like, apps won't have enough memory to run, and it won't be fast enough to run on that processor. Then it's the fault of the phone companies who are... It's not, not the actually, phone, it's not the phone not company. Actually, it's the manufacturer. Right. I mean, the people making the phone. That's not the but, phone company. But also, also the phone... Also the phone companies themselves, who... who the carriers. Well, see, most people who use this mic on that side are taller. <laughs> you, you fixed your mic? Yes. Okay, that's good. So, yeah... What was I saying? Something about Android. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm lost. Okay, well, what do you think about your Android phone? What is your Android phone? That's a good question. It's a Motorola Triumph. It's exa- identical to mine. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Restart. It shut, Piece it of shut crap. itself off. <laughs> mine hasn't done that for a while. Absolutely worthless. Yeah. Every time it does that now, I'm going to give it a, a negative one point off. My battery is um, lasting much longer now. You know, mine is too. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So mine is too, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, so on the first day I had it. Even when even when you're using it a lot? Yeah, actually. Uh, because, yeah, because I have mine open quite a bit, and um, the battery still lasts long. And... and I even have the screen on for you know a long period of time. Mm-hmm. Well, on the first day I had so mine, then, so not not on the first day. So I got mine on a Sunday, but that first Monday I went back to school. Yeah, it couldn't get it couldn't connect to the Wi-Fi network for some reason. Yeah. So in like an hour, it went down to forty percent. Wow! But so then it's just trying all the time. And yeah, it, yeah, just continuous because for some reason it couldn't get on the Wi-Fi that first day, and then mm-hmm. I forced it. You know, by going into the connection screen, it crashed once, and then I got it to stay on Wi-Fi for a long enough period of time mm-hmm. to actually use it and then just leave. Yeah. You again? Yeah. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> Colored kittens. You know, I've done that to my dog. I know. So what's the difference between a dog and a those, cat? Those are cuter. They're, these are cute. Yeah. But I wouldn't I wouldn't die my kitten. Why not? Do you think it's... um Real? Yeah, Photoshop. I think it's uh, like Photoshop. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because nobody's gonna really do that to the cat. Why not? Because the white parts are just very white. You can have white cats. I know, but how do you paint? Oh, maybe a spray paint. No, it wouldn't work because they're striped. How do you stripe? Mm. Spray the other way. Use a um, use a. Um, just getting call? closer. Mm. On the face. Yeah, cover them up. Their eyes, yeah. Use a mask. Mm-hmm. Like the kitten's gonna stay there for that, right? It's too perfect. Yeah, I probably photoshopped. Yeah, that's what I would have done. I wouldn't want to be that mean to a kitten. No, be that mean to a dog. No, the dog doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? The dog's bigger. It's it still defi- a poor. It's still d- a poor animal. That doesn't know what, is, what you're doing to it. Washing it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're just evil. Yeah, probably. I remember when the kid asked, why is that dog pink? <laughs> oh, some child asked? Yeah, we were at the dog park once, and the dog was so slightly pink because she had been washed once, but not enough. Right. And, and, and it's yeah. like, why is that dog pink? <laughs> I've seen poodles pink and blue and yeah, purple. But poodles poodles are, are done on purpose, and, you know, it's, like, acceptable. So your dog wasn't done on purpose? Well, it was, but, well, I mean, yeah. I'm, but, I mean... Poodles are the exception to the don't color my dog rule. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. No? No. I think so. I'll tell you what I really think about, you know, those poor little animals. Which ones? All dogs. Those? Yes. All dogs, all dogs that are actually in people's homes or domesticated dogs is a travesty. Tell me about it. Do you that's, know why? That's what I told my mother when she got Do you know it. why? No, I don't. Okay, my reasoning behind it is, is that these animals were 
bread, especially for humans and for the way human being. For continuous being there? Uh, right. Yeah. And they've been bred so, I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. It's it, it's just the true essence of what the actual dog was supposed to be. It's not even there anymore. That's right. why most dogs now need so much medical attention. And there's so much going on. If if another race came and started doing that to humans, yeah. If another race came to this planet yeah, you're going and started way. doing that to to humans. Okay, whatever. What do you think humans would think about that? You, you know what, though? Um, you know, the re- the way I justify all of that is that... There's no justification No, for but it. you know what? You do have to live. And um, I I don't see too many other creatures on the universe right now communicating. <laughs> well, I don't think you know any others yet. <laughs> well, you? well, you know what I, I, I do? I know a dog. I see one around here all the time. I see oh. a cat all the time. You yeah. know, the two animals that I see every day. Yeah. And... I don't see them writing or speaking or communicating with others of their species in a long-term way. Does it mean they have less rights than anybody else? Yeah, but you know what? The people who won are the people. And uh, the only thing we can do is uh, live. Right. Does it mean you have to exploit something else so you could be happy? You know what? Yeah. No. These are creatures. This is not a... You know, a piece of glass or a piece of dirt you know, that you, you can, know, you can okay, form and you make a drinking cup. I, I totally this agree. This is totally different. I this totally is a life agree. form. This is another life form that you're you're messing with. I just totally for your agree. own selfish But reasons. here's the thing. That is just wrong. Here's the thing. When that dog was brought in here to this location. Yes. Some people didn't want a dog, specifically me, because I knew... I'd be involved, and I didn't want to be involved because then I knew I would have to take care of it, and I knew I couldn't do it as well. Yeah. My solution was just to let somebody who actually wanted a dog to have the dog. Now, see, right. I feel bad for the poor thing because it's here and not being played with continuously. Right. Um, I always think it's quite amazing when I see it sleeping that it's alive. It's incredible. <laughs> like, how does it live? It's impossible. Right. Like, when you see a human alive, it's like, eh, it's just another person. But when you see something that's not a person alive, it's just revolutionary. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, why is that? I don't know. How is it alive? It's incredible. What do you mean? What? What's it's your... alive. It's moving. It's a, It can think. Yeah. How? <laughs> because it was made to do that. It wasn't made. It's an animal. Everything was made. Yeah, yeah, sure. Somehow or other, whatever the case uh, you have for but what I'm saying is existing, it, it was made... I mean, do you put animals and humans on the same level? Because I certainly don't. I put all life forms... Because the last time I checked, I just ate some pepperoni. Yeah. Is that a meat? That's meat. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know, it could be a dried tomato or something. Yeah. Um, I, I eat things, so I don't care. You know what? So do I. Good. I'm glad you eat. Right. Yeah. What was that noise? Me? I don't know. Something. <laughs> Weird. I know. I heard it knocking. like Knocking. Mm-hmm. Must be this. It's it's this. It's this knocking on the table. Ah, uh, a piece of crap. <laughs> I can move it. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> oh, it's probably yours. Yeah, I think it's mine. It sure must it's not, it's, it sure won't it's not hitting your mic. Well, it must be on the back of the table. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't yeah, matter. Maybe need a wedge going down the. Well, I wanted to put like um, a piece of rubber back there. Yeah, around it maybe. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that was I. I forgot something about alien life forms. Yeah. No, I mean seriously. How would you feel if some uh, other life form came down to this planet and started breeding yeah, but, humans? Yeah, to... but you know what? To be as pets. You know, that's great. As long as they can be totally ridiculously on super massive magnitudes of order smarter and more capable. Meaning? What I just said. I mean, there's no... there's That's what it means. You mean the aliens or the humans? No, 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 the aliens. Okay. Well, quite possibly if they're uh, breeding humans to be like, uh, pets, I suppose they would be more intelligent. Then that's fine. It's fair game. And how would you like to be uh, a human that's uh, two feet tall and have six arms? 
You don't get a choice. Because you were bred to be like that. You don't get a choice. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But how would you feel about it? It'd be horrible, you... but you don't get a choice. Mm-hmm. But and, and luckily, dogs don't get to think like that because they're dogs. Right. So they don't care like that in terms of caring. Mm-hmm. In terms of, oh, that hurts. That's what they care of. Yeah. So humans would be in a different situation because they actually do have like some thoughts and recognition. Mm-hmm. So it's on a different scale. It can't be measured the same way. You ever heard of uh, Planet of the Apes? I don't watch TV. It was a movie. Again, I don't watch TV. Okay. Well, just... Uh, what is that, a scenario. sun visor? <laughs> yeah. Scenario. Just, uh, yeah, it's, it's blocking out the light. Um, what was that? <laughs> Planet of the Apes. Yeah, Planet of the Apes. The, the premise of it was that uh, humans were supposedly the inferior race because um, the the apes actually got smarter. Yeah, I, and started I, controlling humans and treating humans as second class citizens or not even citizens, not even uh, ape. Yeah, that's <laughs> so. You know, like humans treat other humans as not human. Right, fair right. game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's right, though? Fair game. Fair game. Whoever is smarter and more capable can mm-hmm. do whatever they want. Yeah, but what makes you smarter? Smart in, in in their case, they weren't really smarter. The apes weren't smarter. They were brute more. They had more brute force. And they took over okay. by force. So uh, they weren't smarter. Okay. Well, when you see that movie, you have to first ask, where did the one billion apes come from? While the one or the seven billion humans were just sleeping? I believe it was a different time. Okay. Well, something was wrong there because one, you do not let the biggest two-armed animal become so populous that they can actually revolt. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. Well, see, that happened because humans were trying to do things that they should not have been messing with in the first place. Like what? Like playing with apes and trying to make them smarter. And of course they did get smarter. But what happened was, is that just like in any other thing like uh, like Battlestar Galactica where, the, where they built these robots and then the robots took over from them? Yeah, yeah. Well, Isn't that what the do you think? Cylons? Or Cylons, the... okay. yes. And then Cylons actually made humanoid that were actually more human-like. And, yeah, and then they became, like, individuals who would say, okay, we were this, we were that, and now the humans are inferior to us, so we're going to annihilate them. Yeah. So what? (laughs) You think that's okay? It is, because you don't get a choice. Like, there is no fair way, so the only fair thing to do is say it's okay. Yeah, but it's not okay. Yeah, but it is, because it's the only way to be fair. But it's not fair to begin with. But that that the inherent unfairness is the way to make it fair. Mm. Like that's the only thing I can do. Like the only way to remain sane and human and still do what I like doing mm-hmm. is to just say it's okay. Yeah, but you don't have a choice in what you do because you are being controlled by some other entity, whether it be an ape yeah, or, and, or an and, android. And so again, it's or, or okay. Case might be. Why is that okay? Because you don't get a choice. <laughs> there should always be a choice. Yeah, but you don't get choices. But there should always be a choice. Yeah, well, the dog can't talk. No, but if it doesn't have a choice for itself, you shouldn't make that choice for it. Yeah, well, that's too bad. I need to live. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So if I need to eat, it's time to eat. I can see rearing f- food, but when you have some other creature that depends on you for every single thing, and you call it a pet and a friend, and yet... You treat it badly. You're not here for it most of the day. Oh, I, most people are out. It's and funny you mention that because those are the things. exact things I said about a dog that I know of. Right. Hmm. Most people would be out doing work or playing or whatever they're doing, and the poor little animal is at home by itself with no help, with no anything. Sometimes the water bowl runs out, or the water bowl is nasty and dirty. Oh yeah. And yet it has to fend for itself. Mm-hmm. And you call that a pet and a friend. Yeah, well, that's just the injustice of humans. It's terrible. Yeah, I don't... And, and then you see those commercials on TV where they make you feel guilty. Like what? You know, like the the, the animal shelter commercials? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, they play the sad Titanic music, and then they show the pets that are beaten and stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, which is true. Yeah, it is. It, they're not making it up. No. But I know it's kind of... It pulls at your heartstrings, but... Uh... Does your heart really have strings? It does. Um, Just like pork chops. <laughs> All right, then. And, um, yeah. So That's why I don't eat heart or pork chops. Or strings. No, I eat string. Oh, do you? Cheese. Mm, okay. No, I actually hate string cheese. 
Yeah. Well, it's just cheese. It's just but it, like, well, the kind of string cheese that I get. It's light cheese. I don't like it. I like sharp cheddar. Yeah. Have you ever seen cheddar um, string? No. no. It's like uh, mozzarella and mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. light cheese. Whatever that white cheese is called. Mozzarella. Is that it? Yeah. Mm. Don't like it. Yeah. Um, mm. I like uh, Giada says, mozzarella. <laughs> you and your TV. <laughs> it's not TV. I see it on the internet. You and your TV. I don't watch TV very much. On your much. TV computer? Um, well, no, my computer TV. Okay, same thing. No, it's different. Okay. Computer so TV. TV. Yeah. Okay. Different way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not actual TV. I'm watching you know, stuff that's on the internet. On, the on TV. my TV. Right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's annoying. I know. Never used to do that. So, you know, it just sounds like somebody is knocking. Like, hello? Hello? How are you doing? Big week. Yeah, big week. <laughs> big, actually, big week coming up. Right, why, why, what's going on? I have lots of reviews to write. Oh on. man, you're gonna love that. I hate that. Should I open the show notes on your computer so we can do a show? No, if I sit, no. <laughs> if if I sit, why? I'm gonna be doing most of the if, talking anyway. Yeah, I know. If I sit at a desk for more than like five ten minutes, I'm so so ready to fall asleep. And thinking when you're falling asleep is hard. Is very yeah it, you know? exactly. Mm-hmm. I am one of those people who like to get up and do things and move around and be active. Right. When I have to sit in front of a desk and look at that screen and type, well, you know, typing for me is like impossible. The best thing I can ever do. No, it isn't. Right. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Right. So, um, yeah. So sitting is one thing. Typing. Then typing together makes me want to fall asleep. Well, you could, you could get a standing desk. So what I actually decided to do was... Uh, to get Jake and dictate? I wish I could. You could. But they, they won't let me install anything on their computers. Oh, right, because you have to write it there. Yes. Oh, ridiculous. So I can't do it at home and say, hey, you know what? I've done all these. I can have a, um, a log of the times I put in. No, mm. it's unacceptable. They won't. don't want you to work uh, off the clock and uh, in your own home. I, I couldn't do that. Which, um, to me, would make more sense because then I'd have more time and I could spread it out among you know days like throughout the days yeah. yeah so I don't have to sit there for too long mm-hmm. and uh, I could actually have a template that I could just cut and paste things and I was even telling them about that at work it's like you know since I have to write these many have a template um, have a few sentences for each category each question and um, just cut and paste and then once I'm done with that I can be pers- more specific, personalize, right, for each individual. Yeah. So when um, when I was in eleventh uh, grade, I was in AP Computer Science, mm-hmm. and Brian Reinhardt, my computer science teacher, had me grade some of the Intro to Programming class f- programs, mm-hmm. some of the assignments. And so what he had me do was he had me rate them on a um, like a plus minus scale. Mm-hmm. So if they were really good or, you know, they, like I was, I like them or stuff, mm-hmm. you know, and it wasn't like completely just like non-objective. It was, you know, like, did it run? Did it like follow like good coding practice? And if it did, then I would give it a plus and he would just give him a hundred percent. If it had a minus mm-hmm. and you know, it didn't run or, you know, some weird thing in it, um, I would give it a minus and then he would come back and do specific comments and, you know, mm-hmm. suggestions for the kid. Mm-hmm. And so then I think that's what you kind of what you want. Like you want that kind of you know overall thing, yeah. and then be more specific after if right. it needs. It. Yeah. Right. And I even ran that by my bosses too, and they said no way. No, they actually agreed that it was a good idea. Yeah. But the thing is, I required time to mm. do that to make my template. Mm-hmm. So that would have taken you know like maybe an hour mm-hmm. to do the template and get everything all together. But of course, I haven't had a solid hour. Where I could actually sit down and do any of that stuff. Right. Then I keep telling them, you know, you know, I need to get this thing done. I have 18 to write. So I need to get going in this. But then we get all these heavy loads and it's like, um, hey, we need you out on the floor. Oh, okay. So when am I going to do this? And then later on, you're going to come and tell me, hey, um, you have to write this by a certain amount of, by a certain time. You know, you have certain, so many days to get this done. You have a, a deadline. And, um. Uh, so I've been asking you all this time, and now you're coming in to tell me that I have a deadline. You know, I've been telling you all along, I need to get this stuff done, because I have always tried to get it all done, but I haven't gotten it done. Yeah. And it's because you wouldn't give me time to do it. 
So I, I hear that Target got some new offices in the back. Is that true? Yeah, they um, they added the um, the new health place. What do you call it? Place? Oh, so they took the, the office clinic. space for that, right? Okay. Yeah, they took the, the minute clinic, and then they took they stole some of the offices, and they uh, they moved it, so they took away some of our stock room. Mm. Right, <laughs> which is kind of a stupid thing to do because our back room is just small to begin with for. Mm-hmm. It's a very, very high volume. You know, if you if you could have gotten that National American University parking lot, this would have been solved. Yeah. Or if we had just gotten the one right adjacent to the building itself, not the national itself on that side, but the one on the on the right. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, is that what that that's is? That's the National American University parking lot. Is it? Yeah, it's part of them. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know who owned it. And and for some reason they never use it because they're I, uh, for lease. No, I thought that was an independent company. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, and that would have been nice. But even when they built the building, they forgot to add. Uh, I know. <laughs> the photo Photoshop, place. Yeah. yeah. We, the the photo place in like service or the like real photo photo gallery place. The actual photo place. Yeah. The, not the photo development Developing, center, but the real one. But the real the studio. Yeah, the studio one. They forgot the studio. How do you forget so, that? I don't know. What's more important is. Who approved the plans? Right. How do you forget that? How many people does it take to approve a plan? Not one. It's a committee. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) It's a committee. How can a whole committee miss on one thing like that? Somebody would have seen it. Somebody would have noticed it. You know, it's funny you you ask it like that. How how many people does it take to approve a plan at Target? (laughs) Well, not at Target, but it's it's a whole community who does this. This is not just... You know, one person right. deciding, no, okay, uh, of this is people. my building, whatever I want, yeah. Right. No, everybody has to go around the table and look at it. It's like scrutinized, it's like, mm, yeah, we can have this here, that there. Can we redo this? And You know, you design it based on opinions. Right. But it wasn't done that way. Mm-hmm. Somebody just said, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. looks good. No. Yeah. Like Bob, <laughs> approved. Oh, yes, President Bob, I remember that. Yeah. That's Rainbow. I know. <laughs> I hate that place. It's a nice building, though. Who? It looks like a house. The one in Roseville? The one in Roseville. I'm not impressed. I'm not talking about the inside of the building. I know. I'm just talking about the outside. I'm it doesn't done. look like it's a grocery store. It looks like somebody's it's like house. a log cabin. This looks like somebody's house. I don't know. I think that's what they were going for. I like it. It doesn't look like a grocery store. I don't care. I don't go there. I don't either. I just like the building. Uh, let's see. What building? Dude, it's almost 9 o'clock. So? Does that mean anything here? I have to drive home. We're always online here. I have to drive. <laughs> You're at home. I have to drive. Oh, yeah. Big difference. Um, hmm. Do you have a charger for this, too? What does that take? Um, the mini USB. You know, the mini type, the other type. Is that a mini? Honestly, I don't even know what this is plugged into. What do you call that uh, socket? That's yeah, it's mini. Mini? Okay. Yeah, the phone. And this, and this is micro? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me know when you want that back, because you're going to forget it otherwise. What? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. That's how long it took. I have the timestamp. It's one second to forget. Yeah. <laughs> I, once, I, once, I, uh, once I get distracted about one thing, uh, I forget something else. Oh, it's installing on my computer. That's cool. That means it's plugged in to my computer, which is insane because I did definitely did not plug this in. How do you mean it's plugged in? Well, I plugged it into a charger. So maybe it's plugged into your computer somehow. Yeah, but I don't, I don't remember ever. I, what, what device do I have in this entire... Why does it say it's ready to use? Because I plugged it into my computer, but I didn't... Not plug... USB? Isn't through it... the computer. Hmm? USB to the computer, Yes. Well, so it's hooked onto the computer. Yeah, no, but I don't have a single device in the entire house that uses micro USB. I mean, mini USB anymore. What is that? Email. Yours? No. Mine? Okay. Maybe. Well, why does it sound so loud? That's the For magic of headphones. Magic of headphones. For you? Uh, it's a new email. Yeah. that's. I think that's my email sound, too. <laughs> because well, there yeah. are only like ten of them. Well, I, I I switched. I like these two sounds. I like the one for my uh, for my messaging. Mm-hmm. That one I like that one. So I reverted it because I had them switched. 
So then I switch back now. So the email sounds like this. Um, yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. Emails. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't have my email set up in here. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I know. Actually, I have... What is that? I don't know. I don't have that sound registered. That's... You sent me a message, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, but you know what? It still says it's sending on my phone. Really? Yeah. It just... It just you can... know, yeah. that happened to me the other day. Really? Yeah, I sent... Um, I was walking, and I sent a message. You were walking Facebook. faster than light? Yes. <laughs> and I sent a message, a photograph up mm -hmm. from this. I think it was when I was walking. So that the exact same photo that I had up there when I that said walking on it, mm -hmm. and uh, like about twenty thirty minutes later, it still said it was sending it. Well, it was, it was on three G. Took a while. Yes, but it had already been up there. It had already posted. Okay, just so you know, this phone and sucks. I saw it. Just so you know, this phone sucks. It does yeah. not actually work. Yeah. So what I did was I turned it off totally. Turn it back on. Did and you then pull the battery? And, and, okay. Uh, actually, I pulled the battery yeah. two days ago. Okay. So. Pulling the battery really does fix any problem you have with yeah. this phone. I did that two days ago. So when my Wi-Fi explodes, mm -hmm. that's usually what I do too. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there was some thing that went on there and it kept saying over and over. So what I did was, oh, no, no, no. What happened was my um, green light was flashing here. Okay. And I couldn't turn my phone on or off. Hmm. Scary. Yeah. So I t pulled the battery and then, you it, buy that from? then it worked. Target. Did you get your warranty? <sighs> I think I may have because so I'm gonna go with no. Then. It, no, I might have. I see one in my um, in my drawer, but I think it's for my camera. Mm. But I could have because it costs more than two hundred dollars. So I figure, yeah, yeah, it might be worth it if I wanted to switch it out. Well, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get my phone replaced through Virgin first. Think so? Yeah. You think they will? Well, I've been reading the forums, and since the it's... Wi-Fi problem is so ridiculously hardware related. Did you see anybody else? Yeah, uh, I did. So it, 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 it is, is a trouble sound. Yeah. I have no trouble. Different phones have different issues. Some people have no 3G. I see, mean, that's not 3G. I don't want to give my phone up because, you know, most of the things that I want is actually doing it. That flicker is nothing to me. Well, actually, so I fixed the flicker on mine. You had a flicker? Yeah. I thought you didn't. Uh-oh. So it, now it flickers. So I fixed it. Do you know how to fix it? No. Just wait longer. Yeah. Okay. So it, it. So the thing is, it's flickers. You know, I know. But what I've determined is it's a software problem. <laughs> yeah. So like I've I've asked people on the forums, and uh, according to them, on their um, other ROMs, on their other OSs, like uh, two point three point five or whatever, and their CyanogenMod, mod, the flicker does not occur because it's a hardware. It's a software issue. Mm. Isn't that ridiculous? Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. So got a show title. Uh, stuff. I'm posting this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you do that? Because I need a show for this weekend. I just talked about uh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Hilarious stuff. Okay, here. Let's talk about something. Right, ready for this? Yeah. Something. Let's talk about Windows 8. Um, when is Windows 8 coming out? Okay, great. Uh, see, I, I, haven't, I haven't downloaded it yet. No, but I do have the disc for you if you want that. Well, I would love one. Okay. Um, so here's what the problem is. Yes. Nobody knows when it's coming out, but we know when, we think we know when uh, the R first RC comes out. Yeah. And we're thinking the first RC will come out either in late May or early June. This year, right? Yeah, this year. Okay, because you never know. No, you don't. Um, and they confused us when they put out the first beta mm -hmm. because the expiration date on the first beta was 15th of January 2013. Wow. So they're given a long time for the beta, consumer preview beta. So is there going to be a second beta since you talked about be an first RC. beta? It'll be an RC. Okay, well, then it's not a first well, or second beta. But, but see, that's that because I'm comparing it to Windows 7, and mm. Windows 7 had two betas and two RCs, so it's a little weird. A one RC, two betas. Whatever. Okay, I, yeah, because how do you have two RCs? Well, one wasn't good enough. One had a bug or something. Oh. Well, then it shouldn't have been called an RC. Well, it was called an RC. They thought it was good, and then, it, oh, look, there's a major bug. Okay, then let's call a new one. So right after the RC is what, gold? No, after RC, it's RTM, so release to manufacturer. Right. Well, okay, so yeah, so RTM, and then it's GA, general availability. So that's gold. Well, they don't do that. That's Apple. Yeah, isn't, yeah but isn't gold when they actually start printing it Well, out? Golden Master is Apple. Right, Yeah. when they start printing GM the, release. Yeah. Right, that's Apple, though. Okay. And Microsoft doesn't call it that. They call it GA. 
to uh, be different. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't um, Microsoft before Apple. Two years, but not really. Well, that's enough. Not really. <laughs> um, yeah. So here's what we think. We think they're going to shoot for October. General release? Yeah. Oh. So people will start selling Windows... P- well, okay. So they said they are going to have Windows tablets on general availability. Mm-hmm. So that means... So is that uh, going to be a, a like a different operating system than the uh, no. regular? Well, okay. So that I is, mean, it's kind of that's an inter- interesting point, I suppose. So you know x86, right? Yeah. Okay. So AMD is currently what one. So x86, the you know the processor command mm-hmm. things, that is using AMD 64 command yeah. set. Or, yeah, that used to be uh, the. the um, it used to be 32-bit, right? Right. So now it's AMD 64, and even yeah. Intel adheres to that standard. Right. But to save power, Microsoft made a ARM command set for mm-hmm. Windows, so that it can, they've, they've changed it in some particular way so that it runs an ARM. Mm-hmm. And as you, as you know, ARM runs on our phones. Mm-hmm. It's the low-processing processor. Yeah. Or, I mean, low-power processor. I know. Yeah. Um, and so, essentially, uh, none of the Windows apps you have will run on it, because they'd have to be recompiled for ARM. Mm Because it's a different, you know, command set. Yeah. Uh, Also, that means um, for the until Office comes out for ARM, Mm -hmm. it won't be doing too much because there are not going to be any apps for it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know for sure, but I I mean, I suppose you could download an app that's made for ARM. So, so in other words, you're saying it's only going to be customized for the tablet, and the actual operating system for the actual computers are going to be different. No. So, you know, so you know the App Store for Macs and yeah. iPhones and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they're going to have the Windows Store, the Windows App Store or something. I don't mm-hmm. know what it's called yet. Mm-hmm. And you can actually see it on the beta or the uh, consumer preview. You can actually download free apps. They don't have anything that's paid yet, but you can mm-hmm. download free ones. And uh, the, the essentially what's going to happen on those mobile devices, the, the tablets, is most of your apps are going to come through the App Store because most people aren't going to be compiling to ARM like willy-nilly because that's stupid. Well, uh, for now. Well, well, it could develop into something. Yeah, it could. Um, less Windows, is still, Windows is still big. So. Well, but here's the thing. Windows right now is big because it runs on one platform. Mm-hmm. One command set. Mm-hmm. Just AMD 64 all the way through. It's mm-hmm. done that since forever. So why can't they just make apps that works on the pad or whatever they call it? Well, Tablet? Well, so you, you're asking why don't they just emulate AMD 64 in into, ARM, into, ARMland? Into, yeah. Well... Because, you know, they do that right now, so you can run a 32-bit process in 64-bit land. Well, that make it hmm. slower? Hmm. Yeah, it does. Is that the only thing? I'm sure that... I don't know. I'm not a processor expert. Just, I don't really know. Just add some more memory uh, to it. Well, that, like, but, but, here's, but here's the thing. Nothing works fast in, in tablet world anyway. Yeah, it does. What? Have you seen an iPad lately? And no. Yeah. I right. don't play with those mm-hmm. things. Those, those don't exist. And tell me about it. Uh, so, the problem with Windows is... Like let's say let's say C cleaner right you know C cleaner, yeah. What do you call it? C C cleaner. Yeah, because that's what I called it for ten years. I copy you. Oh my gosh, is that a bunny? Yeah, it's cute. I fell over. Fell over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. I had, I like a, little, had a little humor to it. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. Come on. I know. I like it. Okay. Well, so the thing is with Windows eight on the desktop, which is my more present concern because, you know, I'm a desktop user. I don't have a Windows tablet and I don't think I'm ever going to. Mm. Metro doesn't work on the Windows desktop. So the Metro interface is this big blocky thing that you've used. I, I've forced you to do something with it once. Yeah. Uh, how did that go for you? It's not bad once you get used to how it works. I mean, I had no no real issue with it. I can get used to anything. I am not, like, stuck in one platform. Um I'm versatile. I'm flexible. I can do anything. Doesn't yeah. matter. Right. So I am too, but the problem is most people aren't. So yeah. for the last 10 years, people have expected there to be a little orb in the corner of their computer. And that is the only, one and only way people right. understand how things work. Yeah, but the thing is, a lot of people have, you know, left Windows and went to Mac, or even some went to Linux, and they even have, I mean, some of the Linuxes can do pretty much look just like a like a Mac, or it could look like Windows and still not have that, you know, regular start menu and, and all that but stuff. But if you use Linux, you are definitely not one of the people I'm talking about. Right. Okay. But even 
Windows users, they can, couldn't they like customize something on there that there's nothing to look like a Mac or to look like well, you could, Something but if you if you know how to without custom- a start menu, okay. So if you know how to customize your computer, you are definitely not one of the people I'm talking about. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, like people. Yeah. So I'm you're ta- talking about just a regular. I'm, ta- I'm user. talking about the people who leave Internet Explorer as their default browser because they don't know better. Yeah, so, so that's who I'm talking. So about. you turn it on. You I'm don't talking about. Anything. I'm talking about the eighty percent of the population yeah. out there. You, you turn on your computer and you go to you look get for the what internet. HP put on your laptop. Yeah, that's you, what you get. You go to the internet because hey, there's a browser. I'm. That's the only thing there is. Or that's what you use at work. That's what a lot of people I hear say. They have to. Right. So a lot of the people I have in my community ed classes, they tell me, well, I'm going to go to the, the, the blue one there because that's what I use at work. Yeah. And it's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Have fun mm-hmm. with that. See if it crashes then. <laughs> and it does. Well. Don't ask it, me why. Wink, wink. Be, yeah, because um, Microsoft has a deal with them and they... Um, with who? <sighs> With the people who they uh, the businesses sell these yeah they sell these computers to and they if they well, if they mess with it then Microsoft probably wouldn't support them. Well, no, there is a deal, but it's not like that. So it's part of group policy. So the, the administrators, the IT department, can administrate all computers instantaneously through group policy. Mm-hmm. And Firefox and Chrome, well, okay, Firefox doesn't have a group policy manager. Chrome mm-hmm. does, but because it's so new, of course, nobody knows what goes on with that. Mm-hmm. And the other problem with Firefox and Chrome now is that. Every six weeks or so, they both update to the next version. So right. in a year... So it's hard for them to keep up with Right. That. So in a year, you'll have th- three or four major versions or something. Right. Right. And that, that becomes tedious or something, apparently, to IT, IT, IT departments. Of course it is. That's a lot of work. To do what? To update everything. You don't have to do it. It's automatic. Wow. Security issues. That's the point of automatic updating. You don't get security issues because if there is one, it's patched automatically. Yeah, but how do you know the patch is a real patch? It could be fake. It can't. It's delivered through the same protocol as Windows Update. Oh, okay. So what's the problem? Right. What is the problem? Because it's not a Windows product. I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, speaking of which... Uh, the the I one mean of the Microsoft. Th- anyway, you mean? <laughs> well, so that's another thing. What they should have done with Metro is they should have just left the Windows desktop alone, which would have been preferable, and then they should have made another product that was based on top of Windows, but then just had only the Metro interface for products or, that were tablets and stuff. And they should have just called Metro Microsoft Metro, mm-hmm. and then it should have just been Metro. Do you want a Metro tablet or do you want an iPad? You pick. Metro, Android, or iPad. I know what you call Windows, Windows. Yeah. And then yeah. they'd all be separate and everything would make sense. No mm-hmm. confusion. That's what I was asking earlier. If, if something was just customized to the tablet or if it's just the same and, operating and, system and in fact, using everything. And in fact, you know the regular Windows desktop? Mm-hmm. You can still access it willy-nilly on a laptop running ARM. I mean, uh, tablet running ARM. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No different. Mm. Okay. Except all your ex- apps that are existing, they won't work. Of course. So CCleaner won't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, a, a current build of Internet Explorer, that'll work fine because Microsoft made it. But a current build of Chrome, oh, won't work. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So you're stuck in the dark ages. Well, you're stuck until somebody actually does compile one for ARM, which will be instantaneously because, you know, Chrome wants to. Mm-hmm. And Firefox obviously needs to. Mm-hmm. So that won't be a problem. But a lot of smaller developers probably won't get there initially. And even if they do, then, you know, you people, people aren't smart enough. They don't even know, like, should I do 64 or 32-bit? What does that even mean? Exactly. Most people don't even know what that means. Now there's going to be three choices. Do you want 32-bit, 64-bit, or do you want ARM? What's that? Well, why isn't there more education telling people what they have and why they have it? And, you know, <sighs> Education. So I always thought the future of computers was to educate people on how they work and, you know, make smart people. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. It doesn't work. Mm-hmm. You can tell somebody a lot of stuff. When you sell a computer, you should have a little information on how it works, what works, why it works. People don't read that. They just want to use it. They should. What? Should read all that stuff. It's important. When was the last time you actually read something? Um, I don't read manuals. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think um, my brain works well enough to like figure stuff out on its own. You know what? Most people aren't like that, though. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so let's talk about Best Buy. Okay. So last week, last week in the news, uh, Best Buy announced that 50 stores were closing in Minnesota's metro area. At least five were closing. Wow. So, and the uh, BB1 or BB01, mm-hmm. you know, like T1 yeah, or yeah, T01 yeah. or uh-huh. whatever you called your store. Where is that? Edina, I think. In Minnesota. 
Oh yeah, I it was it a base. It was their their headquarters is in Richfield now, but uh, the the first BB was in uh, Edina, I guess. Oh, I thought they were based in Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. So Best Buy is a Minnesota company. Yeah, you want a bigger secret? What the guy who made Best Buy went to Central. Oh yeah, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You want an even bigger secret? What Tracy Olson is good friends with him. Who's Tracy Olson? My math teacher. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to say. I know. It. <laughs> That's why I did it. It's a setup. I know uh, how this radio thing works. All right. Yeah, I do. <laughs> What's with you and your sun visor? What's going on over there? It, the moon's bright. Turn it off. Turn the moon off? Mm-hmm. It's going to be dark in here. Computers everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I choke myself. It's nice. I like that. Oh, it's, yeah, it's fine. What I want to do is I want to get the little tacks, and I want to put up uh, the LED lights. Do you have? Yeah, I have got a, I've got a box. I don't have the nails or tacks. Or... Yeah. Well, if you need a bunch, but they're green, the cord's green. Does it matter? Uh, no. Okay. I'm not going to. I can't see. Uh, what type do you need? C6 or the tiny little ones? English, please. Uh, C6 are bigger, like C9s. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. You don't know what a C6 or a C9 is? <laughs> so, wait. Is? The smaller number is bigger? Um, no. No. C6 is a little bit smaller than the C9. The C9s are bigger, like, um, you know... No, I don't, obviously. You've seen uh, the, the normal type of um, night lights. Well, I'll show you what the kind of lights bulbs, I have. The bulbs yeah, for yeah. night lights, mm-hmm. those are C6s. Mm. They, they are equivalent to a C6. Mm. So they're about that size. Mm. C9s are a little bit bigger. Like the ones they have at your, uh, what do you call those things out there? Your your patio yeah, and your gazebo lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are like nines because mm-hmm. they're bigger. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Well, okay. I'll show you the ones I have. Like and then the, the little mini lights are the little mini they're lights. They're just LED Christmas lights. I mean, I'm not doing right. fancy yeah, stuff Yeah, those here. are like, they, I think they just call them mini lights. I think we just call them LED like Christmas lights. Well, yeah, you call them that. Yeah. yeah. Way easier. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Uh, I'm yes. just going to tack them up to the ceiling up there. Yeah. Just, you know, run around and call it good. Colored lights or just bl- white? White. Colored? Okay. Are you crazy? Yellow or white? Mm, I think they're white. Okay. Yeah, I like but, the white ones better. But I don't know for sure. I'll have to look. Yeah, the yellow ones look too, like, dying. They look like well, they're dying. Well, for like, for like a living room, I want the yellow lights in my living room. But for like a studio or an office, I want whatever that's called. White. Yeah. Daylight. It's called, uh... Oh. It's, okay. It's called off. Oh yeah. So Best Buy. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. So they're you know they're closing right. Uh yeah. And obviously they're closing because nobody likes shopping there. Really? When was the last time you had fun shopping at Best Buy? Um, about three years ago. I thought you were going to say like Thanksgiving and Black Friday, but no, I that's the worst time to go. Yeah, but you got your good stuff then. When? What? What did I get? The, GPS. What did I? Oh, I did, didn't I? You did. I agree. That you was did. last year, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Was it last year? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we just stayed up all night and went to stores continuously. Well, I'm up most of the night anyway. It was a good deal. Every day. Yeah. So it wasn't anything new for me. Mm. So I wasn't, like, you know, breaking any rules on my own. I was just being me. Okay, so the question was... Yes. Was, um, what should Best Buy do to make people want to go to the store? It's nothing they can do that they haven't been doing already. I mean, think about what, what Best Buy is like now. And think about what they could do differently to be better. Hmm. Um, what they can do, it, are you talking about brick and mortar or, or just in general? Let's go with both. Okay. Because I don't know what that means. A brick and mortar is an actual physical store. Yeah, theoretically. And, and um, part of the yeah. problem. And if they can just do, instead of having to go to the store, send your stuff at home to you, like well, shopping online. So one of the things people love going into Best Buy's for is they can see the product, they the can browse. feel the product, and they can yeah. touch the product. Yeah. Can you imagine... Um, looking for uh, a TV without actually seeing it first, that'd be weird. Yeah. So you need a store for actual product demonstration or actual mm-hmm. product testing. Okay, mm-hmm. so that's one thing we know we need a store for. But they already have that. Right. So how can they make that better? How do you mean? There, there is no way to make it better. You don't think there's a way to make uh, the demos on display better? No. You don't think so? What, have more chairs just so you can sit and watch? I don't know. What, do we, what, do you th- what are they your already, thoughts? They already have that. I know what my thoughts are. What are your thoughts? Um... I don't think they, sh- they can do anything. Different. You don't think so? No. What about the rest of the store? What can they do? What can they do to make people actually like them? I don't dislike them, so I I don't get the questioning. Okay. Well, most people hate Best Buy because they all are, apparently are stupid, 
and they don't have any idea what they're talking about when you ask them about products. So you're talking about training their people? Okay, maybe they need to train people, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And just so they're more knowledgeable and... Um, I think the repair department is kind of one of Shady. the biggest, <laughs> biggest, yeah, shams out there. So, yeah. Well, I do remember when you had that, like, Windows 98 computer and you brought it in, like, three times. Yes. You remember that? Yeah. But I love that place. Like, I saw into the back room and they had screens and computers blinking everywhere. Yes. And I was like, yeah, that it was looked, like, <gasps> it looked like they knew what they were doing. No, it looked like I wanted to do that. And then it's like, yeah. no, I don't. Right. But uh, even right then, right after that episode... I started working on computers myself because I couldn't trust anybody to fix it because they didn't fix it. All I did was ask for more money. Mm. I even ended up buying a a new copy of Windows. Ridiculous. Right. And it had nothing to do with Windows itself. Yeah. So I ended up buying it for no reason. And So let me tell you what I I think. Yes, go ahead. you know, I can actually do that. Yeah, I have no uh, qualms. You know how hard it is to find people with qualms? (laughs) Like, you can ask, hey, 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 buddy, got any qualms? Yeah. Buddy? Yeah. <laughs> and they, and they, they've got nothing. Right. Be- because most people really don't care. They go for a certain you item. something? Most people don't know what qualms are, just so you know. Oh, really? Honestly. Okay. <laughs> but, no, my, uh, my, okay. My thing is, uh, the reason I, I, I can't figure out why they would do something different that could, you know, entice people to come in. It's because I really don't care. If okay. I want if I want a certain item, something's advertised, I would just go in to look for that particular item, get it, and get the heck out of okay. there. Well, maybe don't, that's my, that's don't my think thing. about it in terms of coming in. Think about it in terms of not staying away. How do you mean? Most people avoid Best Buy because the employees are obnoxious, and when they are helping you, they don't have a clue. Most people don't like when you go in. They don't have a clue at what to do because, like, mm-hmm. you go to the computer section – computer do you pick and then and like they all they don't have any like specs they don't have they all look identical they all look like crap you go to the tvs like oh there's 80 of them now what but they do have specs yeah but they don't nobody knows what those mean what's what's a i3 versus an a6 amd what's that it means um, nothing right to the normal consumer it absolutely does mean nothing and you and i are definitely not normal well in that case i may know a thing or two more than the average Joe, but you know, two point five gigahertz more <laughs> than the average Joe. <laughs> yes, but I don't see myself as that. I see myself as just another person. If I if I figure for me, if I can do something, anybody else can do it because I don't think of myself as like a smart person. I think of myself as uh, somebody who wants to know, who likes to learn things, and who wants to know. And there are things that I want to know. There are things that I really don't care about and I don't want to know but certain things like you know things I am interested in that yeah of course I want to know it's like if I'm going to buy a computer I want to know what I'm going to buy right so obviously that's how I started working on computers because I couldn't pay somebody to do something I could do myself okay well let me tell you what I think go ahead tell me so obviously their their repair department needs to actually know what they're doing and that's hard yeah. because people who are talented with computers mm-hmm. They do it for fun. Yeah. And, and they don't work for them. They don't want to work for them because they know it sucks. And so it's hard. What do you do? Yeah. Okay. So that that's, uh, I can't address that problem. Yeah. But there are other problems. So when Matt and I went to Best Buy a couple of weeks ago to get his new laptop, because mm-hmm. he needed a laptop for school. Mm-hmm. Um, why did you go to Best Buy? Because he actually wanted to pick it out. Yeah. But why Best Buy? Where else can you go? Circuit City died like 20 years ago. Well, Micro Center or? He can't drive that far. Okay. His truck gets 10 gallons to, or 10 miles to a gallon. Okay. Maybe if you're he, lucky. Maybe he should have waited. I could have gone with you guys. <laughs> maybe next time. Yeah. Um, no. So we went to Best Buy and, um, you know, he knew what he was doing cause he's a tech guy. You know, he's tech. He does, he mm-hmm. buy processors all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy who was on the other side of the counter from us. Yeah. He was, you know, like one of those muscle shirts. Yes. Uh, you know, when you work out and you had like a, like a little sun visor on, kind of like you right now. And he was sweaty and, you know, mid forties and, you know, just wasn't the best of upkept okay. people. And he was talking to this, you know, I'm shirt. not, I'm not, I'm not sweaty or uh, unkempt. I'm actually quite yeah, well you look, dressed. Yeah. You're, 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 we can, except for the visor. Yeah. You're fine. Oh, so this, <laughs> the, the, the best buy employee that was helping him. Yeah. So he goes up to every single computer and starts, you know, 
touching it and playing with it, you know, attempting to divine some meaning from its being there. And mm. he's telling her, and I'm listening, of course, that's what I telling do. Telling who? The, the Best Buy employee. Yes. He's telling her, like the guy, mm-hmm. he's telling her that I, I don't know anything about computers. I totally have no clue. I've never really had one before. I've never, mm-hmm. I only use them at the library occasionally. Yeah. And so he's trying to buy a laptop. Mm-hmm. He's going up to each one and like, and he's asking, so what about this one? And she just, you know, says ex- essentially what's on the little plaque of specs. And he's mm-hmm. like, is that good? And it's like, yeah. And it's like, so what does that mean? Right. She said yes to all, of, to the same question on pretty Every much time. all of them. Yeah. And, and so one of the things I kind of thought was ridiculous is what, that a person couldn't just go into the store and know, like, is this one good? So is she wasn't good? comparing this to that and why? Well, she was, but like, they all kind of suck. Like, they're all pretty mediocre computers. Well, if that's what he's looking at, obviously. Yes. Well, so the, one of the problems is, like, you need... I mean, it's nice to have an employee, but even that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. You should be able to just go up to a computer and know, like, mm-hmm. compared to everything else around, like, the two computers next to it, where does this stack in? Yeah. But the thing is, if you if you know people well enough, you will notice that most people will look to the lower end and start there. Oh, Yeah. Right. So obviously... But have you ever been to Best maybe, Buy lately? No, I have not. They they purposely no longer have a lower end, like... Right. Like, it's all it's, mixed up? It's all mixed up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. It's clever. Yeah. So you'll be going along, and suddenly you see a really, really nice one, mm-hmm. and then you read the price. Oh, twelve ninety nine. Oops. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, but even though, you still have to know what these things mean. Right. And But here's the thing. What I think Best Buy needs to do for at least the computer section is eliminate some choices mm-hmm. because there's too many choices that nobody cares about. And what I mean by that is when you walk in there, you don't have a clue what's, what you should get. Whatever you think you want, you mm-hmm. don't know that when you see 20 of them that look identical. Yeah. Like you know you want a screen that's about this big, 15-inch screen. Mm-hmm. You know you want it to be fast, and yeah. you know you want it to work. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. So there should be really not like 60 computers. Mm-hmm. Should be like seven that just work. Yeah, but the thing is, when you when you walk in, and uh, if you're looking for a computer, shouldn't just go to sleep. Don't worry. Yeah, about it. shouldn't the the salesperson or whoever they they call themselves, shouldn't they ask you, okay, what exactly are you looking for? Okay. Not not what you want, but what, what are you going, are you going to it? use it okay, for? Okay, great. So you you got to the next point right. without my intervention. Good work. Right. Uh, because so you have to have a purpose behind what. So, so here's the thing with that, and it sounds great in theory, mm-hmm. but this guy has never used a computer before except right. for the library. So he what doesn't know he, what he's going he's to use. He's not going to have a bloody clue. Right. And even if he did, what is Word going to do? Like Word is going to do the same thing on every computer, no matter how much it sucks. Right. But the experience of using Word mm-hmm. will be different. Mm-hmm. If it takes six minutes to load a page in Word versus mm-hmm. four seconds, I think somebody's going to notice. But not in the first day. Like, oh, it's a new computer. Maybe it doesn't work fast. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but most people, like when they, when most people, when you ask them, what are you going to do with the computer? Oh, you know, check email. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, use Facebook. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> don't be so mean to people. <laughs> You'd be surprised the characters you get at Best Buy. I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, you don't have to be mean to them. Um, and then what else? Um, what else do people do with it? Oh, look at pictures. Um, yeah. You, you store you know, your pictures. Really, on. really, like, general and vague things. And mm-hmm. that's because that's all people actually do. What else would you do on right. a computer? But here's the thing. You can't ask those questions because the answers are obvious. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what you do with a computer. That's why you're getting one. So right. asking the questions is irrelevant. Like, unless the person went up to you and said, oh, well, I'm going to be rendering CAD CAD simulations. Right. Do you really need the, help using a computer? Then they, then they actually know what they're coming in for, and, and they then, will and go then, and choose what they want. Right. You don't have so to it's help a sel- them. So it's a self-defeating question. It right. can't be answered by asking them. You just but, know. But for the general public, yes, it's it's a good question. But it's I, not. Because, you should. But it's not a good question because everybody already knows what you're going to do with it. Mm, not necessarily. Yeah, pretty much, because we know they're going to be checking their email. They, we know they're going to be using Word, and that's all we can expect. Because yeah. if they knew what they were going to do, they wouldn't be asking. Well, yeah, they're looking. No, they're just looking for a computer. Okay, what's um, one that can do this and can do that and can do that? Well, pretty much every computer can do that. But well, so that's that's kind of what she said. So yeah. the Best Buy employee, she says, well, they all can check email, right? And it's like, okay, so can you tell me the differences? No, not really. Yeah. 
So one of the things they need to do is they need to make the computers differentiable. So the computers need to be different enough so that mm. you know, like, this one is this one, and this one is this one. They look different. Mm. They are different. Yeah, but they're also different manufacturers That's selling okay. the they same... Right, this, selling the same, you know, from lower end to higher end. Okay. And um, so obviously it's not just, okay, we're, we, we just have a bunch of this kind of computer and a bunch of that. It's different manufacturers with similar... One of, the, one, of the things that, one of the things that Best Buy, I think, needs to do is they need to, since they are a middleman in the computer buying process, mm-hmm. they need to enact that massive power in selecting good things for their customers. Yeah, but you know what they're trying to do also? Be fair. They're, no. They're trying to make it affordable to just about everyone. So they you have know, they, to have they, they, they must have lower end that people can you know, afford. And that's okay. Not they everybody can, can afford they a can, computer. They can do low end. That's great. But they have to make sure they're good low end products. Yeah, I don't mean low end, I mean affordability. I know what you mean. Right. I I know what you mean by that low end three ninety nine computer. Right. I know what you mean by the yeah. two fifty nine. Something netbook. something yeah, something good that's not so expensive. But then Next to that computer, there's two other ones that look identical that are the same price. How do you choose? The Best Buy employee doesn't have anything to say because it's right there on the plaque and they're just going to read it again. And mm-hmm. when they ask the guy, what are you going to do with it? Oh, check my internet. And then, right. do you need internet for so that? So what's your solution for that? Less choices. Just Best Buy needs to enact their power of being the middleman and just say, we're going to carry these seven laptops. You pick. Have fun. Yeah, but how would you represent all the manufacturers? Whatever's the best in that month. Whatever. I mean, this is what Best Buy has to do if they want to survive. They can't be just selling six computers that look identical. I know it mm-hmm. sa- sounds sad for manufacturers. And then the manufacturers are going to have to change too eventually because, you right. know, it doesn't work. Yeah. Have you seen PC sales lately? It's declining. No, I haven't. Declining. Yeah. Significantly. I haven't even, even built one in the last what, year and a half, year and two, a half. two years maybe. Yeah. 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 The last one I built was the TV computer, I think. Why would you do that? What? Which TV computer? Mine. Okay. There's a lot of them. Well, I've been away for a year and change yeah yeah there's there's too many tv computers yeah. or is it a computer tv right Nah. Yeah. okay so let's play the tv game now mm-hmm. so you let's say you walk into best buy and you go into the tv section mm-hmm. what do you see a bunch of tvs different oh, sizes how do you know which one to buy hmm. um you look at the features okay so you walk up to the little plaque and it says hd mm-hmm. now what because you walk up to the next plaque it's going to say hd mm-hmm. Yeah, but which HD? Is it true HD or is it 720p HD? That's an Apple joke. But uh, <laughs> um, so. yeah, okay. So that that's valid. So then yes. you ask one of the employees, and what are they going to say? What's yes, the TV? But, but the thing is, most people probably wouldn't know. They hear HD and they think, oh, 1080p. They don't know it's 1080p, but they're thinking, oh, it's the best quality right, because, because it's, it's HD. HD. Right. So they don't know they're different. Variety. And, and so you know, like uh, I don't know. I know you don't watch the news much, but on the news, like on Channel Five in the morning, they always say like Skyview in HD. Right. And at what point in time does HD become standard again? What do you mean? Well, so I know standard definition is a number. It's like four twenty, right? Four eighty. Four eighty. That's right. Mm-hmm. So when does HD become standard? Like when does HD become so pervasive mm-hmm. we stop distinguishing it as high definition? Well, what happened is is that. Uh, 480 shouldn't even be HD. It's not HD, really. Standard. It's um, it's it, people misinterpret what it is. It's a digital signal instead of an analog signal, which is what it is. It's still digital. It's not HD. It's digital. It's a better quality picture. Then what? What, are we, what are we even talking about? Difference in TVs. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is, like on 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 broadcast, like when somebody advertises something as HD. Mm-hmm. Like, they put it as part of their branding. Mm-hmm. At what point does that become non-high definition? Because at some point, there's going to be something higher than 1080p. Oh. So when does yeah. that become just the regular thing then? Well, they'll have to call it a different name. So is HD going to be SD then? And then there's going to have new HD? No. HD2? No. The maybe. new HD? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. HD2. Great. HD5. That's so stupid. HD um, realistic. Okay, one of the reasons I bring that up is oh, because... Oh, they could just call it realistic. <laughs> <laughs> one of the reasons I bring that up is Picture because quality. the new PS4, Yes, it's codenamed Orbis. Uh, PS4. Yeah, PlayStation 4. Yes. Yeah, it's codenamed Orbis. Mm-hmm. It's going to have um, quadruple 1080p. 
otherwise known as 4K resolution. You're saying P, right? Not I. No. Okay. So it's going to be outputting at 4K resolution, Mm -hmm. which I believe is 4096 Mm -hmm. instead of whatever it is now. Yeah, 1080. 1080. Uh, So uh, it's bigger. A lot bigger. Four times is big. Okay. So Huge. then, so then, if you have a, a like a ninety inch screen, it'll look really good. Or if you just have a regular size screen with a huge resolution, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, but everything would be tiny then, wouldn't it? No, not necessarily. No, no, okay. higher density. So it'll look better. So well, that brings up another qualm I have with TVs. You know, most people don't have qualms. Yeah. Uh, also, um, most people when you say qualm, they think you meant clam. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I know what it means. Seriously, people don't have a clue what English is. Anyway, uh, one of the things I thought was weird is, you know, the big 3D craze that happened last yeah. year? Yeah. So, you know, like, oh, go see this movie in 3D and I, buy this I, TV in 3D. I actually like it. Well, so one of the things I thought was weird and... I saw Avatar in 3D. It yeah. It was actually quite good. I, I saw it in 3D too, but I think I was so close to the screen it wasn't as exciting as it could have been. You get hit in the face with water. No, I, I wish it was. It was okay. really hot in there. Um... <laughs> Well, one of the things I thought was weird is, you know, they're putting all this 3D technology into TVs. Mm-hmm. But instead, what we, what I think would have been the, the next logical step instead of 3D was higher density TVs. I know it doesn't make any sense to normal people. Mm-hmm. But when you see a high density screen mm-hmm. and then you see a non-high density screen, you just start crying. Well, it's like watching, you know. Um, it's and like watching regular, HD and then regular definition. Yeah, regular old standard TV, and yeah. then watching. It yeah. is like that. Even but, even 480 is, and it's di- even digital. But just looks. But good. I have a bi- bigger differentiation for that. Mm-hmm. It's like watching HD on a screen made out of glass, ten feet away, that's flat and mm-hmm. backlit with LEDs, versus watching a screen that is twice as small, mm-hmm. six times as grainy, curved, and mm-hmm. six feet closer. Right. That is the difference between a high density display and a non high density display. Mm-hmm. And so this is 218 pixels per inch, which mm-hmm. is good. Mm-hmm. The original iPad was 132. The current iPhone is 326. Mm-hmm. The iPad 3 is 262 ish, I think. Um, and those numbers mean nothing, but the idea is the higher it is, the more pixels there are per inch, and that means more data in a smaller space appears yeah. to be Looks less better. grainy. Yeah. And so it's weird that we went to 3D, another dimension, when we haven't even improved the single 2Ds we had already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just thought that was really weird. because. But it's good enough that you can, you still have a good picture. You don't know that. 1080p. But the thing is, but, but, if, but when you, if, you're watching, if you're watching TV, no TV is, is, is uh, transmitting in 1080p. It's 1080i. Yeah, but you know what? High density displays just you don't know until you have one and use it consistently. You just don't. Mm-hmm. You have one and you don't even use it. What your iPod Touch is three hundred and twenty six pixels per inch. I uh, use it sometimes, but you don't watch anything on it. You don't know how good that screen I watch is. It. No, you don't even have a clue. That screen is better than any screen you've ever seen in your life. Trust me, <laughs> it has more pixels per inch than anything. I really... have you ever, ever been to um, Omni Max or Omni Theater or whatever it's yes. called at the U, uh, mm-hmm. not the U, uh, I Science have. Museum. Mm-hmm. That thing has like one pixel per foot or something. Doesn't the zoo have one too? <laughs> yeah, that's IMAX. That's different. Yeah, like the the one at the university, not the university. Why do I say Science Museum is the yeah, university? I don't know. One at the Science Museum. Mm-hmm. That one covers you. Yeah. Surrounds you or something. The one at the zoo, zoo is just a big, big movie screen. theater. Yeah, yeah. And but it is three D. Yeah. But it's not curved at the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. The one yeah. at the Science Museum is curved. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought it was weird that TVs went to 3D instead. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, so the, the PS4, Orbis, mm-hmm. it's doing 4K because they want to do 3D in 1080p. So what you do, when you do 4, 3D now, mm-hmm. it's not 1080p. Yeah, but how big is that picture going to be? 4,000 pixels by some other number-ish. It's huge. I could look it up for you. you know what I mean? No, no, no. I mean... Go ahead, keep talking. I can hear you. I have eyes. Okay. Yeah, you you can't see me though. I talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> They're yellow. What, my hands? Nope, your eyes. Oh. <laughs> this is so much more fun than it should be. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Now. Oh, you're right. You were talking about uh, PS what? Four? Yeah. Okay, isn't a PS something... 
what is it connected to? It, it's connected to okay, whatever so TV I, you have? I got the resolution. 496 by 2160. Okay. So, so that's 4K. I, yeah. See, I was, I was when you said that, I was thinking of the little tiny little handheld things. No, no, no. That's different. Okay. So you actually PS4. mean like it's a console? Be a, it'd be a TV. Yeah. Thing. PS4. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So the reason, they, the reason they're going to do that is because when you have 4K content, that's what that number is yeah. called. Well, so... When you do 4K in 3D, what it, what happens is you know how 3D works, right? They have two images, one's off-centered, one's right, right. you know the yeah. blue and the red or yeah. whatever. Well, instead of doing that, what they do is they interlace the frames mm-hmm. so that you know things can move in some particular way. Mm-hmm. Well, that means I don't know how it works, but essentially the resolution's cut in half each time. You know each you know different color thing you have. Mm-hmm. So with 1080, it's cut in half, so you only get what ha- whatever half 1080 is. Mm-hmm. When you do 3D right now, but when you do 4K, you get. Then that'd be like 540. I don't know. I don't think it's half either, but it'll, <laughs> like it just—it's not whatever that full resolution is. It gets yeah. cut in some okay yeah, division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so 4K will splice directly into 1080p content mm-hmm. in 3D, which is convenient for them because mm-hmm. they want to do 3D games, I guess. Right. Right. And it, I think it'll be without the glasses too, which is also good. Yeah. 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 It would be nice not to have the glass at all. Everybody hates that. Yeah. But, of course, it'll be a couple of years before 4K TVs become cheap enough to get. <laughs> yeah. It's bad enough now. Regular uh, 3D TVs are really expensive. Yeah. Well, no, but they'll be regular TVs. They won't be special anymore. Oh, okay. Again, when does HD become regular? Mm, it is regular now. No, but it's not. An HD TV, it's still called an HD TV. When can we stop calling it that? Oh, I see. Do so you, instead you of get, just calling it a TV... When can we call it a TV again? Yeah. When does HD yeah. become regular? Well, it, it will when they stop selling the 720p and the and the tiny 480p or whatever. And they, then we'll get they HD have. again. And then it'll be just a standard TV. Right. It won't be old standard TV. It'd be standard TV. Right. I, I find it annoying. Yeah, well. Well, anyway. Uh, so they're going to be doing this uh, huge resolution thing. So either you're going to have a game that's really big and mm-hmm. a small screen, which will look weird, or you'll have your 3D on and it'll look cool. Mm-hmm. And and so the the reason that that's good is they can they can do any game in 1080p mm-hmm. and just turn off the 3D and it'll scale fine, no big right. deal. Mm-hmm. And that means it works with all current TVs anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, if they do have a TV that's huge, you know, like a one trillion inch TV, they mm-hmm. can do their 41 by they're, they're 4,000 by 2,100 or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that'll be good for them, too. Yeah. Uh, the rumors are that's going to be for holidays of 2013. 13? Mm-hmm. We'll be all dead by then. I don't think so. <laughs> World's going to end this year, dude. Mm, Sony will prevent it just for that. Sony will? Mm-hmm. Yes. They're oh, big and, enough? Uh, also, no, they're dying. Yeah. Also, what they're going to do, apparently with the PS4, which is codenamed Orbis, mm-hmm. is um, they're going to prevent used games from working. What? You heard me right. Prevent used games from working. How does one do that? If it's your own game, how? Uh, well, apparently, what's, what what happens when you buy it from the store? Mm-hmm. It comes with a, it comes with a code. Oh, no, does it sound like Microsoft? Well, hmm, hmm. And, I guess I guess they're protecting their inventory. And so then you you uh, register to either your console or your name or something, I suppose. Yes. And then and if you try to sell it, it won't work for anybody else because it's just registered to you. Mm-hmm. So sad. Uh, so you're just buying the rights to it, just like everything else. Yeah, just like everything else. And additionally, which I think is more unfortunate, is that PS3 games won't work on it. Right, of course. Which I think is ridiculous. So no backwards compatibility. Mm. But because it's going to make it more difficult. Instead of just like keeping something that you already have, just start anew. You know what, though? Isn't that what Apple did? Yeah, it is. But, but here's the thing. When a game costs $60 to buy, mm-hmm. I would hope... You know, like... Yeah, you paid for it, you've used it, move on. I know, but the thing is, when it's a console that costs $500 to buy... You've used it, I know, you got your worth I out know, of it, I know. move on. I know, it's so- like anything else. I know, that sounds good, but it's not. It's like you buy a car. You know, in, in some places, um, cars that you... We, we can just take apart a car here and take bits from this one and that from that one and fix it and re- repair it and do all these things. In I would some never countries, do that. Some countries you cannot do that. That's good. Yeah. Nobody should do that. Should and move on. I know. I know. In, in Denmark, they couldn't do it. I was asking. It's like, so why did you just get a used car? Well, well, no, they don't allow you to fix your old used cars. Don't you, you have to? You have, yeah, you have to buy a new. That's good. We should all do that. Um, 
Hmm. Isn't that what? Isn't that what I was just saying? Just yeah. Move on. Uh-huh. Buy some. Buy it. Buy the new thing and move on. Well, I'm okay with buying the new one, but what I would like is one generation in, yeah. of backwards compatibility for but, the games. Yeah. The thing. The thing about that though is moving on. Is that um, you have to have like two consoles on you, and then you have to because you you can't sell your old ones to somebody else because it's not going to work with them, mm-hmm. and so you have to keep your old one and get the new one too. So then you have to have two TVs or switch box. Well, but, but, but most TVs both. have multiple HDMI's anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but the old old ones didn't do HDMI, did yeah, they? Do PS3, it PS3 does? Oh, did it? Oh, yeah. Okay. What if you had a PS2? That's been incompatible with the PS3 since the first one, so it's right. been long gone. Okay. So, but what I'm asking for is the first PS3 mm-hmm. had backwards compatibility with PS2, right? And then the second PS3, mm-hmm. there was a second. Well, so you know, like versions. So, like every every, every other year, they release an update, mm-hmm. which in terms of you know, not processing power, but in terms of like storage. Mm-hmm. And then case refinements, and then Wi-Fi cards and stuff. Yeah, like they don't change like the base specs, right? Because that would be changing the that'd experience. Be making a new one, yeah. right? They'd be making a new one, but they change like peripherals internally. Yeah. Um, and so what they did uh, for the first one, they kept you know it was five four ninety nine to buy the first PS three mm-hmm. in whatever year that was two thousand six ish. Yeah. Um, but what it came with is it came with the PS three chip and also the PS two chip. And two years later, in 2008, mm-hmm. they released a new PS3 without the PS2 chip. Right. To save money, obviously. Mm-hmm. So it costs a little bit more, but that's what I'm asking for. I don't care if it costs more. Isn't that funny, though? What? It shouldn't cost less because it's using one chip instead of two. Right. <laughs> you know, after 10 years, you think it would. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a new chip that can do everything else. No, no, no. But but the thing is, the, 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 the instruction set change. Right. It's stupid. So then you couldn't use your old games with it? No, not at all. They just don't even compute. Um, so one of the things that has changed since then is that we no longer live in a world of physical media. Mm-hmm. So discs are no longer necessary, so that's not a big deal. Mm-hmm. And so what's been happening more... So you remember Banjo-Kazooie? Yeah. Well, so you know Banjo-Kazooie came out for the N- Nintendo 64? Mm-hmm. Well, Rare, the company that made it, ported it to, to the Xbox 360. Wow. So for approximately fourteen ninety five on Xbox Live, you can buy both games each nice. for you know fifteen bucks. Mm-hmm. So it's a total, of, you know, total of uh, thirty bucks. Mm-hmm. And you know, what media are they sending it? Download. Oh, it's a download. Oh, it's a download. Right. Cool. So I don't know what the process is for porting a game from Nintendo Land to Xbox Land, but mm. theoretically, in fifteen years. Mm-hmm. You you know it's non trivial, but you know not yeah. so hard that they didn't want to do it and wasn't profitable. Mm-hmm. So maybe this problem won't be so persistent because games yeah. that are really popular now mm-hmm. will just be ported over to the PS4 you know right. non disc yeah. version. Yeah. So so it's not the the media itself; it's the, the actual game. It's the actual game. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hopefully the problem solves itself, but I just don't think it will. Yeah. What other tech news topics would you like to talk about? We talking tech? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were just talking about crap. Nope. Did I say crap? Remember, no, we're not legally owned by the FTC, so we don't care. No, that's right. Yeah. Except when you use your phone and you know transmit something else out there. Even then you could say all kinds of stuff on your own phone, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't. Have you ever seen this picture? This is a good picture. Um, no. So Who um, took that picture? Matt did. So I, he was using my phone, and I uh, he didn't know that it had an LED flash, and I didn't know he was taking a picture. Oh, right. And so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm staring at I'm staring at my computer, and then he suddenly just like, you know, does the LED flash and just blind. Yep. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This picture, you know, flooded the internet. Everybody loved it. Really? Yep. Yeah. But he looks like he's blind. Uh huh. <laughs> he's got no blooming eyes. And you flooded it to the internet, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why That's would you do that? For fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hmm. Mm. Oh, here's a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, 21% of Americans have read an e-book. In have their not? Have read an e-book. Oh, have read. Yep. Yeah. You want to know something? What? I made up another statistic. You want to hear it? You made it up? I made up another statistic. That's, a, that's a real one. Sure, go ahead. You want to you hear it? Yeah. That's up from 18% of people who have read a book in general. <laughs> yeah. Yep. See, I don't, I don't read real books. 
people won't read anything, really. Have you seen a kid lately? They don't read. No. Uh, let's see. What else do we have you here? Know why they don't read? Because there's nothing good? It has no buttons on it oh. to push. Um, 34% of teens have an iPhone. Do you believe that number? 34% of teenagers have a phone? An iPhone, I mean? No. You don't think so? I don't think so either. It's way so. too high. It's, it's too high. Too expensive. Yeah. I think they have Android phones, but no, no. Well, you know what? People, they were probably asked, what kind of phone do you have? Oh, I have an iPhone. They probably don't even they know. They probably, probably has it just a, uh-huh. a regular yeah, yeah. Android. And That's pretty bad. And they don't realize it's not an iPhone. Okay, how about this one? 40% of teenagers want an iPhone. Do you think that one's more likely? I think uh, the percentage might be a little bit higher than that. Okay, well, who knows? Just, I think might maybe more like 35% want one. I, I don't know where the study was conducted. Maybe but that might be an interesting question. Maybe they didn't have that many uh, uh, kids. The, the anniversary of... IBM OS 2. Warp? I'm not sure if it was Warp, but OS 2 in general. Yeah. 25th anniversary this week. Wow. Yeah, so it's a little bit old. Yeah. I remember using Warp. You want to go use an Amiga? I got one. Do you? Yeah. Where? Upstairs. Does it work? I don't have, I don't have a cord. <laughs> what cord? What do you mean cord? It's a standard power cord. Don't worry about it. Oh. Uh, but what I do need is a uh, special serial to VGA adapter. Oh my gosh, you know, I just got rid of some of them. Well, bloody crap. Unget. Because they, because they were so old and uh, unusable because nothing uses oh, Don't it. worry, I can get one for 60 cents from auto price. <gasps> All right then. Okay, how about um, Microsoft? Have you ever heard of Microsoft? Never heard of them. Okay, well, in Microsoft, you heard about them. Microsoft? Yeah. Yes. They are rated number 17 on the Linux Foundation for donating open source code time. <laughs> oh, really? Mm-hmm. They are one of the top 20 contributors. Nice. In the Linux Foundation. That's good to hear. Yeah, so that's good. Sprint. You know Sprint? I've heard of Sprint. Sprint has confirmed that 4G will also be unlimited on their plans. The mother company? Yep. Mm. Oh, are you online? Well, hello there. Excuse me? Well, you're online. Skype. I was. Yeah, and you still are. Not on my phone. Well, somewhere. At home. Okay, well, just, just saying. I know. I, that's what I was telling you earlier when we were driving. So when Matt had his iPad. I was going to call you. And when Matt had his you. iPad, he yeah. was on Skype. You know, yeah. he had Skype installed. Yeah. But the way, I don't know how it works, but the way the iPad managed its Wi-Fi, he would always, like, sign it in, sign out every three minutes. Oh. Ridiculous. Yeah. Well, you see, I was going to call you last night, but I thought, uh, when I saw Skype was on, I thought, you were doing um, science. Mm, no, we don't. We don't even do that anymore. Speaking of which, nope, he's not on. Yeah. So, uh, no, I thought. Yeah, I thought you were doing the Skype, but then I realized it was the wrong day because uh-huh. you did. It, you do it on Saturday, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that would have been like tonight. So here's a statistic. Oh my gosh, yeah. uh, twenty-three or twenty-seven percent ha- growth rate of Google Plus in March. Okay. Know anybody who uses Google Plus? No. Yeah, nobody knows anybody who uses Google+. Plus. I, I have like three, four people, but... Um, no interaction? They don't, they don't like it, no. Um, so I have maybe six people I know that use Google+, Plus, and only one interacts with me regularly on that platform. Yeah. There's only one person who actually uses it um, that I... Which is, oddly, the same number of interactions I have with people on the Facebook. No, I mean on the Twitter. Yeah. Nobody who is on my Facebook uses Twitter, and nobody on Facebook uses Google+. Plus. Yeah, my... I have one friend who uses uh, the Twitter, too. Because remember back in the old days when it was a fad to say, I don't get Twitter, it's stupid. Remember that fad? No. Okay, well, it was a fad back in the day. Was it? Yep. Mm. Let's see what else do we have here. here. Uh, Some hotel has been caught embedding ads while people use their free Wi-Fi. (laughs) Caught? Mm Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, that's all the tech news for today. I don't know anything else here. Okay. Hmm, that's not exciting. Not a big tech day today, huh? Well, it is Saturday. It's that's... probably a day off. Well, it's Easter weekend. Come on. Yeah, that too. People are resting up for tomorrow. Yeah. So what What did you uh, order recently? Me? Well, I did, but for you. On what? For Amazon. You know what it was? Um, some kind of media. Yeah, you know what, what is it? What is it for? It's for my camera. Yeah, what is it going to do? It's going to make me... Rich. Filthy rich. It's going to make me uh, <laughs> able to take all kinds of HD, high-definition, very high-definition video. 
That's good. Fast. Eight hours worth of it. Because uh, it is a 32 gigabyte class 10 yes. SDHC flash memory card mm-hmm. from Transcend. Right. That's good. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping it'll be just as good as my as the current one I have. And so I ordered for me in my uh, phone that sucks uh, an eight gigabyte class ten micro SDHC card. Yeah, I th- still think that's overkill because it's just your phone and what kind of high definition phone do you? Uh, yeah, but you know what? Honestly, video are you gonna? But honestly, you're just doing it for speed. No, honestly. Yes. The price difference was a dollar, from 6 to 10. Yeah, so why not get the 10? That's right. Not that's, that's all I did. Yeah. I know, I understand. I was going to get the Class 4 one. Yeah, but... Yeah. Uh, but uh, it was just... Why I bother? F- I forgot. What's the highest resolution? Can this do 1080 video? When you say resolution, do you mean resolution? No, I mean what... T- yeah, <laughs> So you do mean resolution. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try that from now on. Nobody's going to get it. <laughs> What's the highest quality? You mean the video, the screen? No, in um, in quality of video. Why not? Does go it, try it. it does HD, but what HD? Which HD? Uh, Is it 720p uh, or 1080? Hold on, let me bring out my blog. Oh, you. Okay. What do you think I do all day? I blog about the things I have. Mm-hmm. That's not it. Yeah, it is. So it has a 4.1 screen. So let me find out the resolution. Hold on. So it has a 4 480 by 800. So so it's 480? Yeah, I could... No, it'd be 720 at max. 720p? P? Yeah. Okay. Potentially. Mm. Okay, it's just a phone. I, I don't suppose. know. It's just a phone. Like, the new iPad can do 1080 now. Yeah. It's just a phone. But on the other hand, the problem with the iPad is it's because its display is not 16 by 9 mm-hmm. it's 4 by 3 they yeah. have bars. Well, also, I got that camera, too, remember? No. It can do 1080p, not like the other one could do seven only 720. But you know, if you're going to spend like 900 bucks, why don't you spend an extra 900 bucks? I mean, 20 bucks, and just get the one that works better. Yeah, I and you know what? When uh, after after I got mine, uh, price drop. Actually, no, I got mine for the best the best price. Okay, good. Because I'm a really good shopper. Yeah, so did I. And um, yes, <laughs> and, uh, I get it at the at the best price. But you know what? This week, because you, know, it you was want to something this week. Yes, all of this week. Mm-hmm. Virgin Mobile had the phone on sale for the price two twenty nine. Uh, really? Yeah, direct. Yeah. yeah. Aha. But still. Yeah. We still still, still better deal. We still got a better deal. Oh yeah. Because yeah. yeah. of all the discounts and, and all of the extra cards thing. and stuff that we had. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Good deal. Good work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what happened when I bought mine. Mine was like, um, I think two or three hundred dollars less than what it was. Right. They were asking. For. And they cause they were just crunching and crunching it's, their teeth and crying. Yes. Because Darn, I, now it goes another $400. That's because I'm a good shopper, so... Gosh, I, he was one of us, too. How could he? I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it even more fun. Yeah, that's because, what they all say. Yeah. Because I did it right under their noses and legally. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, that those those pixels per inch. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know, that, that, that ticking is ridiculous. It's not ticking. It's mm, a knock. It's knocking. A ticking. Mm. Bay leaves. Mm. I, I see. I don't like bay leaves so much. You don't? No, they're pretty bitter. Mm. Uh. <laughs> yeah. What do you do with bay leaves anyway? Well, um, we normally put them in food. And drink. Well, bacon has them in. Well, you're not supposed to eat them. No. Mm-hmm. But um. They've been put in beef stew. I wonder if you can um, make tea from it. You know how disgusting that would be? No, I don't. That sounds disgusting. I should try, I should try it. You know, just take a, take a small bay leaf. And Man, you look huge. Your eyes look like a giant. <laughs> it's good. And that apple looks really nice from here. Yeah, it looks tiny from this side. That makes sense. So, um, yeah, I should try that. Then I try to make anything else. Whatever I have, tea. Yeah, I should no, make some no, tea with this. Don't don't do that. <sighs> make some pasta tea. <laughs> <laughs> you, pour, you boil the water <laughs> and you put the pasta in, and you take the take the nasty pasta water <laughs> and you throw the pasta out. <laughs> yeah, throw the pasta out, and you just sugar so put some sugar in it and some, uh, you know, some flavored. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Pasta is the flavor. Yeah, mm. semolina tea. <laughs> 
Good stuff. You know, it doesn't sound too good. Hmm. <laughs> doesn't sound bad. Who are you? I'm that guy. Yeah, you're you're definitely that guy. <laughs> you look a Garmin Nuvi. See what we got in here. I've got one. Yeah, I know. I'm using it right now. You, yeah. Is there any updates for it? I can't do that here. Only your computer can do it. Really? Yeah, because I don't want to install the software on this one. Oh, of course not. What are you doing? You're looking through the folders. Uh, any pictures on nope. there yet? Nothing. No. Oh, I don't have a card on there yet. That would be why. Mm-hmm. I wonder if there's internal storage. No? Probably not for usable. Well, you know, just put my card in and then take my card out. Because I just want to put a picture in the thing. It probably just... It, there probably is internal storage, but it's not probably... I don't know. I never read it. And a, you don't have to worry about it. Use your phone I don't instead. Really, I don't really use it that much. Use your phone anymore. instead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can navigate with my phone. Yeah. And it talks. Mm-hmm. It's just not as loud. I've, I've tried the GPS on this, and it works fine. Yeah, it's just not... Yeah, it's just not as loud as the... I don't know. My... Uh, that actually has a loudspeaker. This has these little squeakers. Right. Which well, sounds really good for music, but um, not for... The, what do you call it? Uh, so a lot of people on this phone, the Motorola Triumph, they have commented on low 3G, not 3G, GPS signal lock-in. So most people have to wait a few minutes mm-hmm. to get, even get one satellite to lock in. My old phone was slower. This one works fine. Mine works fine, too. It's just some models. Uh, see, most of my... Every just about everything works on mine except you know for that flicker thing. Yeah, but you know what? And uh, I was you know I was almost going to fall for that. It's like okay, uh, he says it's bad, so I should bring it in and have him replace it. Like no, it works. Fine. It does work fine. It does whatever I want it it's to. It's a hard, it's a software issue. Right. Yeah, but this this, this no, Wi-Fi thing. Yeah. Um, uh, they've I tried. No they, they've mine. tried other other OSs. They've tried two point three. They've tried mm-hmm. four. Yeah. It still does crash on those. Yeah. So. I've streamed. Um, Internet radio on mine. I don't know. Let me let's see if I have and Pandora. And I have had no trouble whatsoever. Yep, I have Pandora. So, yeah, I. You don't have Pandora. I do. I just oh. have. To, I just never logged in before. I guess. Okay. Wait, I totally have. Yep, I did. <laughs> you don't even know if you do. No, I don't. I don't like music, so. You don't. A lot of work, man. It's distracting. Man, this sounds like crap. Hold on. It doesn't. Sounds fine. No, it does not. What are you going to do? Plug it in. Oh. Yeah. I have to turn that off before I get copyright infringement. All yeah. over. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How 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 long you can do it? Like I think ten seconds. I I, I was gonna say thirty, but I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. You don't but, play but, with but, that. But but wait, if if we stop now and yeah. we mm. comment on that song, which is every tear drop was a waterfall. Morgan. Yeah, no. But if we comment on it, yeah. like we're doing a critical analysis of the song, mm. we can do whatever we want because it's fair use. And it can run. Oh, yeah, but I won't be doing that. Yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that into it. Yeah, but you know that's what you gotta do when you want to skirt the copyright law. Yeah, I'm not into screaming. <laughs> <laughs> if she's cute, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Who are you? I'm that guy. Oh yes, you are. <laughs> oh man, that's the show title. What? I'm not skirting. I'm not into skirting. I'm not into skirting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so good. Are we done? I don't know. Are you done? You got anything else? Uh, I have to go and take a nap. Okay. Uh, where can people find you on the internet, uh, Ray? Um, I'm everywhere. Just, you know, like, just like you are. You know, that's what I say at the end of the show. You can't do that. You've got to be in one place. I'm at Twitter at uh, RayTCG. Okay. And I'm at... Um, your website. Where, where am I? Your website. My, what's my website? RayRampersad.com, of oh, course. Okay, yeah. That's where I am. You know, so, um, in the summer, we're going to get you a blog so you can start putting yeah. pictures up. I am going to do the video blog then, yes. I'm going video to do blog? This, yeah. Well, picture not, blog. Picture blog, yeah. yeah. It's, well, I may have video too because I'm getting well, a, right. a card. But, it, but it's so, primarily for pictures. Right. Yeah. Yeah. F- yes. Right. For visuals. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, there'll be some pictures. It'll be mostly of nature and things about, you know, yeah. being outdoors. And and just like my, my old title from that uh, the thing I posted on Facebook. 
um, out and about. Yeah. That's pretty much what I'm going to call it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it'll be that'll be good for you. Yeah, yeah. Because I love my camera. I love all, I love the way it, it takes really good pictures. in focus pictures where there's depth perception. Uh, abs- oh man, yes. it's, it's yeah. just insane. Yeah, and I was I was trying to to use the long lens. Um, I was going all the way to 300, and trying to get the moon to focus, but there some of the branch, branches were like too close, too far, or too close. Yeah. yeah, and it wouldn't focus on the moon itself. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to phase out right. the, you know what I mean. the branches, but I couldn't get the moon in. Mm-hmm. So, but it would be it would have been nice if I could get a lens that was uh, the aperture was much bigger. Well, it's funny when the when the full moon is out and you know this house is huge. Mm-hmm. You know, like the house eclipses most of the yard, but then there's like mm-hmm. one sliver by the garage where the moon will be, and it's like yeah. kind of cool to just run between them. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. Yeah. The ghost. And of course, you can find me, Ryan Rappersett, all over the place. See, this is what I do at the end of the <laughs> show. You can find me, of course, on Twitter at RyanMR. You can find me on my website, my blog, uh, RyanRappersett.com, Google+, Facebook, and all over the place. And of course, here at the Nexus. And this has been a special. Oh, my. Um, because <laughs> I've had time and I'm um, still mm. waiting. Yeah, I, I even had time. I'm... I'm like the busiest guy in the world. Yeah. And now I had some time. And, you know, that's incredible. We had pizza. We had, we, we somehow I conned him into using a MacBook Air. Oh, so I'm still using it. Oh, uh, man, it's a miracle. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I even, I even, I even feel comfortable using it. Oh, that's good. It's like yeah. just using another computer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, quite. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, of course, we don't do this show on any regular basis, so I don't even just say that. I've uh, never done a show. You know, this you should, is my first you, know, you should do a show way more often. Your voice is good for this. Um, well, it depends on which you're voice tired. I use. You're tired right now. so depends on which voice I <laughs> you're, use. You're tired, so you're yeah. good. Uh, of course, you can uh, find all of this stuff on the show notes. Um, yes. And this, is, of course, is special, so you'll see that soon. Yeah, good show. Good show. Okay. Have a good yeah. one. You too.